Well, no point telling you where we are. Um, right, that's about two in the afternoon, or maybe half past one. It's not as busy as it should be, it really isn't. It's a Sunday. Um, this is facing south. Turn around. There we go. You see all the stores on the right-hand side. This kind of reminds me of um, Petticoat Lane, actually, Middlesex Street. Um, anyway, um, the reason I'm here is a little different. Um, London doesn't really have too many 24-hour 20, places to eat. I mean, there are some here and there. Um, but there are some here on Brick Lane. Now, the thing is, Brick Lane is just east of the city of London. So if you're kind of staying in Mayfair and Knightsbridge around there, Paddington, Victoria, you know, it's, it's maybe not going to work so much. So maybe it depends. But maybe, maybe it depends on how much you want to experience um, something, which is coming up after I pass this, this, this little area on the, on the left. Okay. You're all probably familiar with the term bagel, B-A-G-E-L, um, Jewish thing. But of course, that's not the original name for it. Um, and I didn't really know this myself. It's because of Lisa, actually. Um, the, the original name is Beigel, B-E-I-G-E-L. And this part of London, East London, um, there were uh, a lot of Jewish people living. And then along came the Second World War. And this part of London was, was, was bombed significantly by the Germans, mostly because of the docks. And the river is just down that way, I don't know, a mile or something. And there were a lot of docks there um, and all that kind of activity. And it was a major target for the Germans. Um, got bombed heavily. Anyway, the end of the war came along. A lot of rubble and uh, destroyed buildings and all the rest of it. And. Um, and the Jewish people moved out, and, and they start, still are in, in Highgate, parts of Finchley, Hampstead, up that, that sort of area of North London, which is where they still are. And they in moved the um, mostly Bangladeshis, and um, because everything would have been cheaper. I mean, there was a lot of buildings that were no longer buildings and rubble and everything else, so I guess that made the rents a bit cheaper. Anyway, and then along in, when was it, 47, 48, you had the uh, partition of India, Bang um, Bangladesh was, was created and what have you. So I guess before then the Bangladeshis couldn't have come over to um, East London because Bangladesh didn't exist. <laughs> anyway, so you, <laughs> you, get the, you can tell I don't research this stuff before. Anyway, so you kind of get the gist. By the way, we were here, Lisa and I were here last week just up there as a prep. Further up there is the Columbia Road flower market and all of that. Fortunately today we're not going to the flower market, which is great if you like flowers and plants and everything else, but just really busy. Anyway, um, so this street now, Brick Lane, um, I've always kind of associated it with, um, with with Bangladeshi people. And there's a lot of Indian, that in Bangladeshi, those kind of restaurants down there. Um, but... Um, so I didn't think there'd be that much remnants of when the Jewish people here. But here you have two bagel shops, separated by two stores in between them. Um, as far as I know, they're both open. Certainly that one there, the white one, number 159, is open 24-7. I guess this one is as well. It says open night and day. Um, anyway, it's not so much of a queue for this, this yellow one as there is for the white one. The white one apparently, and this is just Lisa telling me because she reads all this stuff up, it, it is just and has been always the most popular. I don't think it's a price thing, um, more of a quality thing, and you know, I'm not an expert in this stuff. You know, if I had one bagel from each place, I'd probably think it was the same. But there you go. Anyway, but certainly less of a queue here. Look at the queue here. Well, there really isn't one. Um, but as we go up, see the second one here. By the way, the first one, the yellow one, that's number 155 Brick Lane. This is 159. But you see the queue here is um, definitely longer and apparently always is. Um, so if you come over here, uh, you know, Lisa and I, that's what we've just done. We've just, um, we were in that queue, it took about 20 minutes, but there you go. 
And here she is. Oh, she, okay, she's going to pull out uh, four pounds seventy for a salt beef bigel. All the foods on top of the rubbish bin. I had to put napkins. And here is the chicken breast. Yeah. Chicken breast. Yeah. Here is a proper salt beef bigel with gherkin, no mustard. Yeah, I asked for no mustard, but you can normally get um, mustard if you want. Um, but anyway, that's how it is. And then you can also get it in, with rye bread, right? It's a bit more expensive. But the original is the bagel or, or the bagel, bagel. And then Lisa got a sausage roll and what have you. Anyway, so... Um, it on rye. Oh, oh, okay, that's on rye. So you kind of see it's a little different. And a bit more expensive, but you know. Um, what's the advantage of rye? I like the texture of the bread and there's more flavor. Okay, so you got that. And it's larger. And it's larger. Okay. Alright, so anyway, so that's it. Okay, bye.